the HMP Wandsworth prison guard officer woman who smashed that guy and her cellmate once again, please. Can we update ourselves on that once again? Can we talk about that once again, please? Because like I said previously, that was one of the most hottest and most disturbing videos I've ever seen in my entire life. The most hottest and the most disturbing video I've seen in my entire life. And this update will make you angry. If you're a man, this update will make you so angry. I found out, I've learned through my browsing of Reddit, through my browsing of Twitter, I found out some interesting details about this young lady, this prison officer that gave up her cheeks in a prison cell to a prisoner and let herself be filmed and shit. I found some very disturbing details. The first detail I found out that will make you angry as Mandem. Do you know why she got caught? Cool? Do you know why that video leaked? The other guy in the cell. The Asian dude who's smoking a joint, recording his friend, you know, smashing the prison officer. He's the one that leaked the video. And you know why he leaked the video? He leaked the video to, because he was blackmailing the police officer. He was trying to get her to fuck him too, but she didn't want to. And then eventually he got pissed off and leaked it. It wasn't even the guy that leaked the video. It wasn't even the woman that leaked the video. It was the guy, the celly, the cellmate that was in there smoking the joint, zooming in on his friend's cock and shit as he's banging this girl behind the fucking door that leaked it because she wouldn't fuck him as well. Oh my God, how beta could you get? How much of a loser could you be as a dude to fuck up the situation, not only for your cellmate, also for the woman and also for yourself because you were so quick and so eager because there's a possibility, there's a possibility that she might have gave up the cheeks to him later on, but he was too thirsty, too hungry because if that's me and that's that situation, I would think to myself, more than likely, this woman doesn't have much scruples anyway because she's doing this. Maybe in time, I could get that if I want to, maybe, but play it cool, relax. You're already in the cell. You already got that privileged position of seeing it with your own eyes. You don't probably you probably don't need to record it, but if you want to record it, fair enough. I don't like that he's like very much there. Like he, he's not even like trying to like lie down and act like he's not really watching and shit. He's like really watching. Like I don't like that. That's a bit much for me personally, but fair enough. Prison shit, you know, you're in there for a long time. Maybe the politics around that is all different, right? Cool. Because you have to learn to shit in front of your cellmate and all that shit. Have your legs spread out and hear the blop, blop, blop as they're shitting. It's all different, you know, politics and way of moving and shit. The fact that they allowed you to be in the cell with them or the fact that you were in there and you're allowed to record should have been good enough for most people. Okay, cool. I get to sit here. I get to record. I get to see this in 4K, hang out and shit, bust something, you know what I mean? Rub something out or whatever. Whatever you want to do. But then to go as far as try to blackmail the girl to get you to smash as well is so deplorable and to me speaks to the lack of riz and the lack of game that dudes have in general this is what it speaks to this is like the the andrew tatification of um attraction of seduction of male and female interactions all of these dudes don't really know how to talk and game and riz people like how could you how how could you get in a position anyway where you get turned down by someone like that anyway personally how is that possible? Because you're that repulsive that somebody that is engaging in that kind of lifestyle, who's okay to do that kind of thing on camera, still turns you down. That must mean you have minus 10 game. Your game must be awful to the point where she's like, you know what? Nah, I'm okay to do a lot of like down bad stuff, but I'm not going to go that way, which is wild. The other thing I found out, which is insane about this story, allegedly the guy that's smashing the, get the police officer, guess what? That was only his fourth week in prison, allegedly. Allegedly, he was in there for like four to six years for some robberies he was doing, really down bad, slimy shit, like robbing people's, you know, possessions and jewelry and stuff. Really horrible shit, in my personal opinion. Rob people of their stuff is down bad. If you're going to rob, rob from corporations and do like fraud and shit, but going in people's houses and stealing their handbags and watches, like that's some bummy shit. I don't care what stuff you're getting, that's bum shit. But he's in there for like four to six years allegedly he smashes this police officer in the only the fourth week of him being in prison he somehow is able to find a situation where he finds this portuguese baddie who is also a sex worker and also here's the other detail that's 
that's so infuriating if you're the guy and that guy snitched allegedly this woman has a partner has a husband whatever they are in a polyamorous relationship they are swingers they engage in this stuff anyway so the guy was cool her guy was cool with what she was doing and the asian dude who was recording them fucked it for everybody he fucked it for the cuck dude who's on the outside enjoying the videos. He fucked it for the woman. She's enjoying it in the moment. He fucked it for the prisoner who's only in there for four weeks and clapping cheeks. He fucked it for maybe other prisoners in there who maybe could have gotten it down the line. He fucked it for everybody because she wouldn't smash him in that instant maybe. Because most likely, you know, maybe after, because I, I, I don't know, I think there's an extended version of the video. I've only watched the, like the two minute version, but I heard there's a longer one. Maybe at the end of the original video, he maybe tries to get his piece in as well. Just ain't going to work that way. And like, it's just, I don't know. There's not, even in life, I don't know about you guys, if you believe this, but even in life, there's not many girls out there that are going to be happy to have trains run on them. Even in life, even in life, even in life. But especially in that situation, it's very rare she's going to be able to be like, okay, cool, I smashed your homie in the cell. Now I'm ready to go with you. It's just not going to happen in that instance. Relax, bro. Take your foot off the pedal. Chill, man. Chill. You already got the video anyway. Chill. Relax. But no, nah, he was too greedy, too hungry, too thirsty. He couldn't drink a glass of water. He tried to blackmail the girl. And to be fair as well, that proves that that guy is a piece of shit and clapped and a scumbag. Because this woman was willing to risk her career, willing to risk exposure by turning him down. She was like, under no circumstances am I fucking you also. <laughs> I love it. She was so steadfast in her decision. I will not fuck you. I don't care. You can release this video. It could result in me going to prison. I could maybe lose my, you know, my right to travel. I could be publicly embarrassed, right? I could get exposed. Everything. I don't care. I am not going to do it. You're that repulsive. That's a wild shit, man. When I found out, I was like, excuse me? Because at first, I don't know why, I, f I just assumed it was a police officer. Maybe she got searched or maybe the police did that thing where they, you know, they kind of searched rooms, ran cells, sorry, randomly, and they found the phone, that they found the stuff on the phone. Maybe that was a thing. But no, it was actually the Asian dude smoking a joint who's recording, who's the one that leaked it because he was blackmailing this woman and she wouldn't give up the cheeks. Wild, isn't it? wild 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 and the other update here courtesy of the daily mail is that allegedly the dude that was smashing the cheeks he's not going to be prosecuted because he's a victim <laughs> allegedly he's classed as a victim so he's not going to be prosecuted it says victims of a prisoner who was filmed allegedly having sex with a female guard have slammed reports that he will not see further punishment claiming this is not what we thought it would meant to get a hard time in prison linton Warwick, 36 of west london was seen in a clip filmed in a smuggled phone appearing to have sex with a prison officer linda de souza de abru or linda linda de souza abru the incident involving the prolific burglar who's currently serving four years and nine months led to a police investigation with married de souza um charged with misconduct in the public office the con who was jailed after he stole sixty-five thousand worth of goods from a safe in a luxury kensington flat was put in segregation but it's unlikely to face any further punishment and it's not under police investigation he's probably walking around that prison cell like a king like a king one victim who was targeted by Wirick in january said i was aware of the video i just don't know what that was our burglar. The whole thing seems surreal. This is not what we thought it meant to get a hard time in prison. That's a fucking incredible pun, by the way. That's sunworthy, isn't it? Hard time in prison. That is fucking the sunworthy. That is so trashy. <laughs> it continues. There's there's a young lady. Um, there's her leaving the thing, kind of half smiling, looking kind of embarrassed. It sounds like the prison officer is the only one being punished to. Um, Wirik had broken into the woman's home. What Wirik had broken into the woman's home while she was having building works done, but only managed to steal a few drills before home. Oh yeah, this guy's a bum, isn't it? He stole drills. <laughs> he stole drills to sell to cash converters and shit. Wow. Officers had caught him because of the ankle tag he was wearing. The woman explained, adding, I don't think he's the sharpest tool in the box. This guy was doing burglaries while on tag. 
No wonder he was okay with smashing a prison officer in the prison cell with his bare face, no fucking belly. No wonder. This guy is really about that life. Home burglaries while on tag. Wow. After one of his victims who said his, um, his bike was stolen, he stole drills, bikes, handbags. Um, he said he definitely is not the smartest cookie if he's just targeting people on his doorstep. I can see why police managed to catch him. It's hardly justice, though. It's, it's, it's having fun in prison. If he's having fun in prison, it comes as Mel One revealed that Weirik's partner is seven months pregnant and went into hospital after suffering from stress, fearing she could go into premature labor. To be fair, though, she should have been stressed that she was, you know, getting done up by a guy that was stealing people's drill bits and stuff and bags for a living because it's unlikely this woman did not know the lifestyle this guy was leading so this whole sympathy tour that she's going on at the moment about this induced labor because of stress is like bruh bruh you are with a fucking criminal like he's probably a career criminal too no offense to the guy right he's probably a career criminal too this probably isn't his first offense so you know let's relax with this sympathy talk because we're into labor like maybe choose your partners better in it maybe i don't know what do i know a source close to her said this is the last thing that she needs in her condition it's extremely upsetting this video has affected her health and she's hospitalized at the weekend through stress she fears it's going to be a premature labor hopefully not hopefully the baby's okay and shit fair enough but you know hey you should be more nervous that you're bringing a kid into the world with a guy that's occupation is robbing people Weirik was jailed for four and a half years for burglary um, at a dwelling and a theft on June 7th in Kensington Crown Court. Look at her, man. She was actually trying to lead the country. No, that's her. That's her there. There's, that's, this screen grab is her. I guess that's probably her mum. That's her there. She was legitimately trying to leave the country. <laughs> so funny. Oh, there's a Don as well, right? <laughs> Oh, what a fucking legendary story. But yeah, that Asian dude, man. I think in life, that's why I've always said, I think in life, right, I think it's really important. I think it's super important for dudes to know how to get rejected. I think it's really important to handle rejection from a girl that you deem to be ugly, from a girl you deem to be fat, from a girl you used to smash, but then changes her mind and doesn't want to smash anymore, from a girl you did some really horrendous deplorable hell worthy things with and then they suddenly see you know they f suddenly find themselves in a new relationship and suddenly they look at you like you're a disgusting person being able to handle rejection in those different scenarios strengthens you makes you a far better person makes you a far better gentleman st makes you far less emotional makes you know how to deal with your emotions that situation because it's a really hard thing to kind of figure out in your brain as a dude because as a dude we're neanderthals we're fucking cavemen we're very binary in our thinking we see our guy in the cell clapping cheeks we're like i want some you just think you're entitled to it i want that when the person says no you're almost offended you're like what but you're a slag how can i not fuck you if you're fucking my guy in the cell on video you can't comprehend it but this is normal not everyone's going to want, like, it doesn't matter what she's doing with that person. That's what she's doing with that person. That doesn't mean it's going to have any inkling, any effect on what you can do. If anything, it's probably going to make what you want to do harder. <laughs> if anything, it's probably going to make what you want to do harder. So you have to have to find out how to deal with those emotions. You're going to have to sometimes somehow find the tools to fucking figure out that shit. So you don't become one of those dudes that's like, oh, you're ugly anyway. Or you start getting aggressive. Or you start getting violent. Or you start cussing people out. No, 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 no. That's lame. You have to know to handle rejection with grace. Like a gentleman. Like a grown-up. Okay, no problem. I understand. And just keep it moving. Because in this situation, I honestly do think, even though this woman <laughs> was willing to lose her career and risk her freedom by telling that guy no, I think if he played his cards right, he might have had a chance if he was chill. But he was just too thirsty. You could tell from the way he was recording. He was all up in there. Like, he was... I thought at one point he was going to pull his guy's piece out and put it back in again or something. Like, he was way too close, way too involved. He wasn't chill enough. He wasn't, like, crawling on, a, on the bed and just having a... Like, he was just way too involved already. Too hungry, too thirsty. And women... You know what I mean? That first... Woo! Stinky! Ee! Ew! Brother, ew! Ew! Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? Even if she's a slag, she's like, uh, 
Ugh, man, you're too hungry. Ugh. Relax, bro. Relax. Relax. And I bet you even more, if you're a woman like her, who participates in swinger stuff, you're a bit free with your loving, you, you know what thirst and hunger and desperation looks like. You run away from it. So that, that's probably why you're more attuned to it. You're probably used to people watching you doing stuff. But when there's someone a bit thirsty, too hungry, you're like, ugh. Dios mio. See, I mean, you, you don't want none of that. None of that. So he, he just fumbled it for himself. But I think a lot of it comes down to because guys don't know how to handle rejection from people who they deem to be, I wouldn't say lower than, but they, they deem, they think like they're entitled to whatever they're entitled to. That's why it's important to get rejected by a fat chick. Get rejected by a fat chick. That will do some madness to your self-confidence, to your self-worth. It will really play with your brain. It will really play with your confidence. It will really play with your sense of perception. Be like, hold on, what? Do you know what I mean? Like someone you deem to be ugly, like what? Someone that you might smash before previously easily say, nah, turn the tap off. Because girls are much better at doing that than boys, by the way. Girls can turn the tap off and never turn it back on again. But guys always are like, you know, they always leave that fucking door open. I mean, they're always fucking, always leaving that door open. 10 years down the line, 20 years, 50 years, that door is always fucking open. When a girl closes it, that string is shut. So sometimes that can be hard to deal with, but it's important to know how to deal with it properly, like a gentleman, like a guy man, like a don, just to be like, okay, she said no, it's perfectly okay. Just because she's engaging in sex work, just because she was smashing my friend on camera in front of me, it doesn't mean I'm entitled to anything. I asked, she said, no, it's perfectly fine. It's chill. It's okay. Don't take it personal. Even though it is personal, even though she's basically saying she will never do you and it's personal, don't take it personal. Just take it on the chin and keep it moving. And who knows? Maybe acting chill and acting like you don't really care. You know, like back in the day, I used to turn your, your PlayStation on and you used to fucking look around the room like you didn't really like care that like you're going to play it or not. Just waiting for the ding. Maybe acting chill about it and not really oogling at her not really like showing any love and maybe that might work out you never know but one thing i know that doesn't work is trying to blackmail people blackmailing people for cheeks that's some lame ass sh blackmailing people for cheeks is some lame ass sh but again what do i know absolutely nothing